So today, we're gonna take this guy for a little walk. One of my favorite things about photography is that it lets you explore places that you probably normally wouldn't explore without a camera. I personally love exploring these little neighborhoods that don't have the same exact houses. Every house is different. It makes you open your eyes for different colors, different lighting situations, and I think it's a really good exercise for photographers because Unlike going to places where there's set things to take pictures of, like you're at a national park, everyone can kind of take the same photos, but when you're exploring these different places with your camera, I feel like it opens your eyes to new things that you kind of have to look out for. I feel like when it comes to photography, one of the most underappreciated or less talked about subjects is just the idea of exploration. For me personally, if I wasn't going out and taking photos, I wouldn't be exploring different places where I normally wouldn't be. So a part of a reason why I love taking photos is that exploration part that I love to discover new places. This particular neighborhood, it's a very quiet, quaint area. I guess you could say it's a little hipstery, but I was looking out for, um, like I said, I want to shoot more cars, but didn't get a chance to shoot that many, but nonetheless, I did get a few, and it was just a good time exploring this quiet little neighborhood in the middle of the city. many 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 things that I love about the X100 is the compactness and how it's just kind of like on the go shooting and it's kind of a direct opposite of when I shoot film when I'm shooting film I guess because of the cost of it every shot has a cost it makes you slow down and you debate on whether each shot is worth it whereas an X100V take as many photos as you want it's so compact so light you just pull the camera out whenever you see something and you don't really think twice about it so as a photographer not just the x100v but any point and shoot i feel like it's a must because it's kind of like your phone when you pull it out you don't really think about oh is this a good photo or should i shoot this thing you just kind of go for it and you're not really afraid to push the shutter button
I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's a continuation of my love for this camera, the X100V. I know it's been blowing up so much recently, which still kind of surprises me. I think I've been shooting with it for almost three years now. It's definitely the camera I use the most. I think they're still back ordered right now. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed that one, please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and share the videos. I'm approaching 500 subscribers, which is a personally a milestone for me. I try not to focus on numbers because regardless of YouTube or whatever, I would still be shooting all these images even before I started this channel. I was pretty much shooting my camera every day. So um, I'm always happy when someone leaves a comment or just watches these videos and I sincerely appreciate it. So again, if you can subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.